guys, we really need to do something with this place here because as you can see, like, I didn't realize or I've been staying away from this project for a while because I got uninspired. I didn't know what to do to finish this thing. And this has basically been my base. These chests and the stupid flower and... Yeah, it's such a mess. Uh, but anyway, today the plan of this episode is to take care of this and hopefully come to terms with what we're gonna do here. This big giant crystal looking thing that's like half finished because yeah, I really want to get it so that it looks better from the outside. It's really bad looking at the moment. Uh, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft from the Season 6 server. I think um, I do want to comment on one thing. Last episode we built the green head vault and you guys were very, very nice in the comments telling me about how many heads I will need, etc. And a lot of you dudes thought that griefing was allowed on Hermitcraft, meaning that you could break through blocks to get to where you needed. And no, <laughs> no. Uh, a lot of you guys were worried that the, the glass roof, that people are just going to break this and get in and steal the heads. But that's not how it works here. People will have to break the code to the door in order to get in. And so that's why we made the, the code lock. And since last episode, Tango actually, during a stream, managed to get in. Now, luckily, I was online on the server. I put on my Hitman suit. Hello? Even got a barcode on the back. I put on my Hitman suit. And I greeted him at the door. And so, yeah, he died. And uh, he didn't get any any heads. And after that, I changed the key code. Uh, but it was definitely guessable. The very the first key code that I set for last episode was a slime block with the name Iscalium. And I think a lot of you guys actually guessed that down below in the comments, which makes me kind of prior proud of you, because Tango spent like an hour trying to figure it out together with his uh, stream chat. Anyway, for today's project, we're gonna try, like I said, and clean up the mess in our main eye space over here. We're gonna take a break from the Sandy Kingdom and... <laughs> Those stupid eyes are still there. Uh, and for this project, I'm gonna need a massive amount of blue eyes. So I figured we can craft this together using packed eyes and we can also craft packed eyes, but I'm gonna mine this little pillar up first because yeah, this pillar has been bothering me for some time. It feels like off off place to the glacier biome. It's way too close to the standing kingdom. So I figured this is a good source of some blue ice. Such a strange discovery here as I'm mining this down. And I've got quite a bit of packed ice already. Or blue ice, sorry. But a strange finding that I didn't know is that these are actually not solid blue ice. And that's weird because I did find one in the past that was solid blue ice. <laughs> but this one is fake. It's got packed ice inside. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But only after like 15 blocks down, it started having packed ice inside. Very, very, very cheap, Mojang. Come on, give us our blue, <laughs> blue ice glaciers. And glacier spike down. It's a little bit on the on the ocean floor still, but uh, this is the yield I got. Uh, not as much as I was hoping, to be honest, because I did have a little bit in my inventory as I started digging that out, but eh. The idea that I've got, the strike that I've got, is that we are simply going to try... Uh, but it's going to look a little bit weird. We're going to try and mimic the bottom portion of this uh, thing on the top. So maybe... I'm really not sure about if this is going to turn out good, but anything is sort of better. Oh, crap. Any, anything is sort of better than what it is at the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, I think as far as height goes, that was the main concern I had. I think the way to do this is just going to be to just go. <laughs> just do it. And I'm going to go two up and then start like slowly transforming this inwards. All right, now how does this look? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> this is actually taking me 45 minutes just because I've tried to go with different shapes and stuff. And I haven't looked at it once. And that was probably a mistake. But it's 
probably something we can work with. So here's what I decided, okay? We have this sort of thing that hangs down and it's like spiky at the bottom. I don't really want that at the top. I'm, I'm, I've played a lot of League of Legends lately and I'm kind of picturing this being one of the base crystals in the like the nexus i think it's called the nexus crystal if you've ever played league of legends yourself and yeah i think i just want to cap the top so and this is gonna look really really bad <laughs> when i do but then after that i can go and add things to make it look better but i think yeah, this may be a bold move but capping it like this going in one layer will possibly look or we can possibly be a good base to to get it to look better. Okay, so step one is complete. <laughs> and I gotta say, it doesn't look great. It looks really bad. <laughs> looks looks sort of like a weird ice cake or something like that. Um, or like a sock. <laughs> it looks like a sock. <laughs> like a Christmas sock. Um, stocking. Stocking is the word. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now, I think we need some regular ice, which I don't think I have any of. And I don't know if I should do this in any sort of pattern or if I should just like go around and add this up. Um, a mixture between packed ice and regular ice. But I do want to get the, the colors shifted up. And then I saw another thing which we have to deal with and that is all of these straight corners. I really don't like that. We have to like add something to them. Guys, this has taken an insanely long time for me, and unfortunately, it keeps getting worse. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't really know what to think about this. It's a little bit... Oh my goodness, this side is terrible. <laughs> How on earth, when I randomly place pillars, do I place four of them equally so close together that's that is ridiculous and that's a big issue why this is looking garbage i gotta be honest guys i hate it it's so bad and i've spent hours hours doing this and i'm just getting more frustrated and more frustrated it, it's not good it doesn't turn out good i don't understand what I'm doing wrong, like usually in Minecraft, I will be able to uh, build things that turns out pretty okay, you know, they turn out decent. This thing just seemed to get worse and worse every block I add, and every time I think I'm like, okay, well now I'm done, now it's gonna look better, I fly down and I look at it and it's just worse. <laughs> you sort of have to appreciate the comedy in that I just can't get it to look good. It's it's really weird. It's really, really weird. And on the inside here, we've created like a super mob farm as well. Well, not super mob farm, but yeah, there are a lot of mobs spawning. So I gotta make sure that I light this up, which is a little bit of a, of a shame because it looks kind of cool in here. Wow, it looks really cool from down here, actually. <laughs> looks really, really cool. No. No! Oh, for goodness sake! That's all the string! Oh my goodness. Anyway, at this point in time, I am seriously considering taking this whole thing down. Every... S <sighs> More water now? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously considering taking this whole thing down. It was a really bad idea to build this thing out of ice and... Or at least I can't get it to look right. And it's really frustrating to me as well that it just... Yeah, I just can't seem to get it to look good. So I'm seriously considering taking this down. I want to see what you guys say about it. Do, do you guys see any visions here? Because I had massive visions for this place. But maybe my issue was building this thing in the first place. It doesn't really serve a purpose anyway. It's not necessary. It's there to be an entrance to our underwater base. And it's there to like be a landmark. And I guess from a distance it doesn't look terrible with the pylons. It doesn't look horrible. But... 
it's not great either. It's not great either. I should just have built like one of these guys, like one of these icebergs in the very center of this and knock on with this cylinder shaped uh, <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh. So I traveled to the Black Pearl because Black Friday is coming up. And I got a suggestion on Twitter saying Black Pearl Friday, which I really liked. Prices are slashed. <laughs> but I... Uh, Red has been building something here. And so I've, I've asked him... I've asked him what this was. And then I said, it kind of blocks my shop now. There's a clear path through the docks to your shop. No more space in the shopping district and it's going to look amazing when done will perfectly match your shop and complement the pirate vibes i mean you know <laughs> okay okay interesting well there is diorite here was So I guess he's building a lot of like uh, these platforms and selling <laughs> selling rocks. <laughs> oh man! All right. I think if uh, or since he's built this, we have to sort of make a better pathway this way. Someone has placed down these lily pads here. I don't know who that is, but <clears throat> the idea would uh, was that you would come in by boat to the Black Pearl, and I guess you can still come in by boat from this direction here. Uh, which is cool. Someone also added like bridges and stuff here and um, I think this is a pathway that leads all the way over to the pirate district. Yeah So people have started to build the pirate district over here, which is really cool like connecting this uh, place up together and Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what Ren does with this. No diorite though, please <laughs> Right, we're gonna move on from that thing <laughs> right now and i'm back in the sandy kingdom and i think it's time to try and raise the castle and this is going to be a big one like this is going to be a big project so if you guys remember we haven't been here for a few episodes i don't think but we have this walkway that we worked out last time we were here and i really like it it's it's like yeah, it's 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 magnificent and then we decided that the walkway would be this way over and hopefully one of them sleeps by the way the walkway would be this way over and up here is where we are going to build a castle and i'm not looking to build like a massive castle there isn't actually a massive amount of space here uh, i think the height of this thing is going to be what's what's going to be the most important yeah, I think we start with this. I think we start with like, here's going to be the entrance of the castle. And then from there, I'm going to try and build something. Now remember, we don't have like a, a an easy shape to work with here. So the castle will have to be shaped a little bit towards the uh, sort of a platform that we're building. And it's not even, I it's not symmetrical either. So this may be a little bit challenging. I think I'm going to want to have some sort of tower-ish thing over here and i don't think i want to build uh towers that are uh sweet or s cylinders i think i want to build straight towers i think it's going to look the best one two three let's go something like that and then yeah one tower would go over here and then the question is one two three four would we try and make this symmetrical one two three four because it's a thing where castles are usually very symmetrical. So I think I got this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was that? There are a bunch of people online, but I think I got the structure worked out for this thing. I was just about to like do a very nice flyover. But yeah, I think I got the structure worked out with this. I went with a... This is kind of weird because I talked about castles being symmetrical. So I went with sort of a symmetrical view uh, as much as I could. And then instead having this mountain or this height being asymmetrical. And I think that actually works out. Um, it's very, very simplistic. But I see this sort of as three layers. So we have one layer here. And then the next layer, and then the top layer. 
And I think that's gonna look really cool when it's all like decorated. I wanna put these up and I think this is just gonna add a little bit something to this. I've already uh, uh, sort of decorated the walls outside here. I've done these things and I've done that all the way around. And then in the front, I worked on this gate for a little bit and yeah, I think that looks really cool. This thing though, because I put those things up, goes away. Like I so. I've also run out of sandstone, so <laughs> I'm using sand right now that I'm shifting over to sandstone. Uh, then up here, I'm thinking we'll have since this is like a part of the part of the castle, we will have like a um, border. Yeah, border, just like we have down here, a border bordering this around, and that's further gonna add to the whole. Um, structural feel of this thing, I think. Now, what's very interesting here, and this is actually really exciting <laughs> for some reason for me, what's very interesting is the fact that so far I've only used sandstone. I've not used anything else, and I actually think it, it looks decent. I'm, of course, going to change this up for the chisel sandstone, and possibly also, even though I really think that this texture could do with an upgrade, I'm possibly going to mix this in as well. Um, just to get a little bit more variation and weathered feel to it, but all in all, like, I don't know if we should add wood to it or anything else. Maybe some terracotta would be nice, some red stuff. That being said, we should add red stuff, shouldn't we? But yeah, that's looking pretty good, actually. And that little border on the, on this thing here did quite a bit for us, I feel. I gotta be honest, guys, I was gonna have this episode out to you guys yesterday, but I've spent way too much time on this. I had to go and mine, and uh, I had to, like, do some other stuff, and yeah, this is actually the third day of recording this one episode. And it's not even, like, a mega build we've done, or mega project, but we placed quite a few blocks, I guess, with the stupid cake and now this castle. But check this out. I took some time to decorate this with uh, the sandstone variations. I got all the top finished. I got a taller, one tower taller than the others. I added some tops or roofs to them. And whilst there's nothing inside, and I have no idea what I want to put inside, I think this is looking really good. Yeah, I really, really like the size of it. I really like the that it stretches over the city. And to me, I, I said this before, but to me, all of these three layers are sort of part of the castle, right? So it's not just a keep, if you will, in the middle. But I do need your guys' help to figure out what we're gonna put inside here. Do we put more towers in here, maybe? Because this is kind of boring, or, or like, it doesn't really fit like a big cathedral or anything like that either. <laughs> so it's just like a courtyard. Uh, and then this area here, I kind of polished up, I changed the side of this, and this is what took me a little bit of time, but I, I wrapped this around, and I made sure to light up the caves underneath. Um, and I'm picturing maybe a statue or a big fountain, or just a single, like, palm tree oasis up here. Could be really cool. Because if there's one thing this thing is lacking at the moment is, of course, color. Um, but no, I, I'm really, really happy with, with how this turned out. It's such a simple build, but it does a lot to the to the Sandy Kingdom here, I feel. And now I just can't wait to add more buildings and kind of crowd this area down below. It's gonna be so good. I gotta, re I gotta remove this stupid ice that we have placed on that thing. <laughs> oh, they're so ugly. Anyway, uh, speaking about color, I thought we should now work out the, or make the banner for this kingdom. So during the stream when we started this kingdom, and this was weeks ago now, you guys helped me out a lot with, with different banner suggestions. And I've sort of been, actually, you know what? I'm missing one block here. And the block that I'm missing, I don't actually think I have. <laughs> I don't know if I have this. I need a brick. Oh, I have one bricks. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's just make it down here. Yeah, I've sort of been uh, shaping it and, and thinking about the banner a lot. And I'm really bad with banners. It's not something that I usually do in Minecraft. So this is going to be exciting. We're going to start with a brick layer, just like this. I think this is how I did it. And then we're going to want a red gradient over top on that, of that, like that, I think. And then... We add a yellow dot in the middle. Nice. And then we're going to need some orange. This is a really simple banner to do with the colors because you just need red and yellow. 
Um, the orange, we add a gradient here, and then we finish it up by adding this thing. And this is the banner that you guys helped me out with, and that I uh, later, like, redesigned, and that I think I want to use for the kingdom. We'll see what you guys think, but here's how it looks. Boom. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. So, to me, this captures two things, right? It captures... The sandy kingdom, the, the sandstone castle, the bricks in the background, which is what the city is made out of. Uh, and this could then be a gate entrance. It also can be a sunrise, right? A sunrise where the sun rises out, out on, the, on the red skies, or a sunset, I guess. Now, I do have one concern, and that is that we've gone with a very red color of this kingdom. What would happen if I change these out for this? Is it too orange? Hmm. No, I think that's good, but you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling that this is a logo banner. The other banners are simply cloth banners, right? So maybe... Maybe it is wise... That's how I copy it. Good, <laughs> I don't actually know these things. Uh, maybe it is wise to use this specifically for the castle area. So maybe here, as you walk up to the castle, you would have this logo banner. And then we'd keep the red banners. And they do go together, so I, do, I don't think that's an issue. Yeah, I like that. I like the orange. I like the orange a lot, actually. I think that works out beautifully in the kingdom. And I think it makes sense to have these red stripes. I'm still not sure if I were to... If I should replace all the red banners with this. You guys can... can let, that can be the question of today. <laughs> should I replace the red banners on all buildings everywhere for this? Or should we have both? And the idea of having both would be that the red banner sort of makes sense not being a logoed banner, just like cloth that people have hung out to show their legions or whatever. But anyway, we're gonna leave the Sandy Kingdom for today. We've done so many different things. I do need to go and repair my Elytra, but then I want to fly into town and I want to find the mall. Because Stress is online and she re uh, reminded me that there is a mall and I was like... Because I, I, I've got a plan for a shop that I want to build. But there is no space to build it. So I do want to check out the mall before I leave you guys today. But yeah, like I said, my elytra is almost dead here. So I better repair it. Hey, Stress. Where is the entrance to the mall? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, oh, she, she came out of the sky shooting. My goodness. Rude. I guess I follow her. I guess I follow you. <laughs> no? Uh, okay. So I have to... F <laughs> I saw you in the swimming thingy. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> the dolphin... High road. High road. <laughs> I saw you in the swimming thing. I need your help though. I need to find the mall. It's not the best mall in the world if you need to ask for directions of where to find it. Look at this by the way. It looks like Cubvan has a mo 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 mohawk or whatever it's called with the rainbow. <laughs> That's funny. My goodness, this is so hidden away. This is so hidden away in that corner. But okay. So this is Tango's mall that he's been working on. And wow, it's huge. That's what... Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, and there are different colored, like, wings to this. Very nice. Looks like a big nether hub, to be honest. So how does this work? I punch out... Hold on. I just go and do future... Oh, okay. You get to pick a spot. That's cool. And there are actually some shops in here. What is this? Welcome to Strings and Things. Hey, I was gonna do String. He's selling one diamond for... One diamond for four stacks. That's a pretty good price. There's a music shop. False Records. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, False's shop. She's apparently claiming more, more spots. I like the green... Area, I like the scallion one, of course. High quality sponge. <laughs> Maybe I will claim one of these things. Stresser shop coming soon. Yes, okay, I'm gonna claim I'm gonna claim this. I'm gonna claim this. I have no sign. Crap. 
I love this idea of uh, a mold, by the way. I think this is really, really cool. Uh, and I hope we utilize it more. Uh, I'm going to take this spot here, like I said. And we're just going to leave it like this. Uh, super awesome shop opening soon. I'm not going to put my name on it. Because last time I did that, <laughs> Xuma wanted my spot. <laughs> So this time I'm just going to leave it like that so no one can message me. We may work on that in the next episode. I'm very, very excited about it. Oh, uh, okay, there is a shop above it. That's cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, dudes. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy it, of course, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And I will see you, dudes, in the next episode.